Okay, so I'm at this place. I think it's pronounced Xi'an Famous Foods. I guess like people rave about it. I believe it was um, on Anthony Bourdain. And so everyone was like, go here, go here. And actually last time I was in New York, I was also gonna try to make it here. They have a lot of locations, but then I guess because of COVID, this is one of the only ones that are open. Okay, so... Basically, I left the fucking Chinese place because it was just super loud in there. The other thing about New York is like you literally have to walk everywhere. Like if I was in a car right now, I would just park somewhere and eat. Okay, wait, let's see. I think I'm coming up on this park. Okay, so hopefully you guys can fucking hear me. I look so weird. I'm honestly just gonna eat because I'm hungry and I'm in a rush and there's like a lot of food so I feel like a lot of it's gonna be- Wait, why is this bun so hard? Okay, so first of all, I got this lamb burger thing. All their food is like on the spicy side and you can choose the spiciness levels. I got some noodles, some lamb spicy cumin noodles. I got pork and cabbage dumplings and then I got spicy cumin lamb burger which is this. And all together with the tax and everything it was seven, um, $27.50. The bun is crunchy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but the inside is pretty good, but I'm kind of over that one. I'm glad I'm in an area where no one's staring at me. Okay, but this meat is like kind of like chewy. Like, I'm literally just fucking swallowing it. Everyone in New York, or a lot of people, have such fucking amazing style. Or it's not even that they have amazing style, it's like... They have a sense of style. I might not like it, but everyone here puts thought into what they wear. Okay, so I don't like this. The meat's too chewy for me. The meats are too big of chunks. And then the bread is dry as fuck. I thought it was gonna be one of those soft buns. I went out last night. I went to Brooklyn and met up with some friends. That was fun. Um, but yeah. I don't like this. I don't like fat parts. Okay, so this little lamb burger thingy, I'm sorry, five out of 10. Taste-wise, it was okay, but like, I'm sorry, no. Okay, so now I'm going to one of my other favorite stores, which is Muji, because I need um, a suitcase. Literally fucking love this store, and I didn't feel like going to every department store. Okay, so I'm pulling an LA move and I am eating in the car because clearly I'm never gonna get to my hotel. But anyway, I'm just gonna eat my fucking Xi'an famous food. If I'm pronouncing, it's literally still hot and it's been hours. Um, and I asked for the mild spiciness because I'm not trying to fucking die over here. Um, Mm. 
This is actually bomb. Do people mukbang in their cars in New York? So there's beef, I think, or something, and then there's cabbage and these flat noodles. I should have gone spicier because it's definitely not spicy at all. And also, it's one of those places or cuisines that defines spice as spicy so if you get it less spicy there's actually less spice aka less taste like this it has a very mild flavor i don't mean mild spiciness i literally mean mild flavor like it's borderline bland it's like still bomb but honestly i'm not a fan of like people or cuisines who think spice means spicy like i will die saying Spice and spicy are completely different things. I'm also not really on a discreet street. So everyone's just like walking by and Ugh, I hate how fucking all the noodles are stuck together. Like, oh my God. I'm switching gears to the dumplings. So I think these are with lamb, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. This is more of like that sweet flavor. For how famous it is, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not obsessed with either one. And I told him, like, to give me the most popular options from the um, noodles, it was this, and the, the dumplings, it was that. So, I'm just like, I don't know. Also, it's called Western Chinese Cuisine. So, I don't really know what that means, but, like, I don't know. I'm also pretty sure it's family-run even though they have a bunch of locations now because there was like a little child working like behind the thing okay i'm not obsessed with this Ugh, i don't know like does it need more fucking flavor more salt i don't know i definitely need both of them need more something i don't know Like, they're very thick and, like, brothy or whatever. But, like, it's just, like, kind of annoying. And not to mention how, like, flat and, like, combined these noodles are. It's really hard with the chopsticks. I don't know. I'm, I'm really kind of, like, sad that I didn't love this. Because, like, it seems like it has a huge following. Like, I did wait a few hours for these, but it's still not hitting right. Something about it's just off. The options they had for spicy was no spicy at all, mild, medium, and hot. I did mild. Maybe I should have done medium or hot. Like, I'm also not trying to sweat balls and, like, just die you know while i'm eating like i feel like why do people find that enjoyable mm. okay literally all my pants in this car the sauce is good um Okay, so next thing I wanted to show you guys. So when I went to get... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
the candle it's by this guy my zone francis Kurkjan. he's armenian he's from france and he's a perfumist and he's very well known i am very well to do like his line is extremely bougie and expensive and um they don't carry it everywhere we decided to get one of our team members um a candle like one of his nice candles and so like i looked everywhere for it all of manhattan was like sold out like pretty much all of the department stores bloomingdale's nordstrom nima marcus bergdorf goodman and like so i found this one place which is the place i said it's the oldest pharmacy apothecary in the country and they had literally two of them left and they were the only ones so i went today and got one and then while i was there i've been wanting this product for a while basically i get his sample sizes the big ones are literally like 300 dollars each for men or women like he has many different kinds of uh fragrances but I got his like four men collection there's like eight of them in there and I love them and he also has like a for her one of that same thing um and then this is called the globetrotter so I'm gonna open it basically it's just a case for your mini uh mini like fragrance like pretty much the ones that are by him and since I have eight of them and like I do travel once in a while I feel like I want to take them with me. Okay. So anyway, I love his packaging. Um, it's always really fucking nice. Um, this same product. Let me just open it. It was like around a hundred something. No, it was, I think it was like 109 or something. When you do the tax and everything. He has it in gold, which I didn't love. And he has it in this, I guess it's called Zinc. And I love it, it's very bougie. Um, so it's just the case and it's magnetic. Um, so you put your like little fragrance by him. I don't know if other places have like the same size, but I have his stuff anyways. Um, so you just pop one in there, you put it like this. And then I didn't even know it comes with this, but it comes with this little case. Do I pull this or something? I don't get it. But anyways, I really like this. What do you guys think? This is his logo, by the way. And they call it like... Because it's Maison Francis Kurkjan. And IAN, obviously Armenian. But um, they call it MFK in a lot of stores, I guess, to make it easier. Um, but yeah, this is... Um, his most famous one is called Baccarat Rouge. He just has a lot of different things. He even has like, the scented candles are really bougie. They range from like 80 to like one, one something, uh, like a hundred something. And then what else? Oh, he has like his scents in like laundry detergent and like just all this other stuff. He even has um, these incense papers. Um, which I used to have and used them, but I think he discontinued it. But anyways, I like it. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, because I was like, I've been wanting this for a while. And since I'm getting something from them, why not? Okay, anyways, guys, I hope you guys had fun watching this. Um, today was like pretty fun. And maybe I'll do another vlog tomorrow, but I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, bye.